Microphone test one two one two. One two Same. one two. <laughs> oh, Johnny. No, I'm good, thanks. How are you, Mzu? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Smooly Sally, good to meet you. Let's see what's going on that side. We started already. Smooly Sally, hello. Yeah, how are you? No, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Mm-hmm. I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Uh, hey, Kuluma boss lady tonight, guys. Um, I think I should have come suited up, you know, let's do a programmer t shirt. Namahood, it must just be a, a thing of the past. Um, thank you, uh, Nandipa, for accepting my invitation. I think, um, I don't remember, I think it's a month, exactly a month. Yeah, and it is a month. A day extra when I asked you to, to, to join me for my live streams um anyway without further i i do thank you to everyone that has joined us um thank you mary n no Marlangu. um she says wonderful um as you guys know thursdays or some of you know um you know a lot of you will get to know thursday evenings i get to hang out with uh you know the coolest kids um you know the most talented most intelligent human beings, you know, that um, through the work that we've been doing here, here from since, I've become exposed to, and tonight we've got Unandi Pamasi, so. Is that the correct pronunciation of your surname? Yes, that's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. So, so Unandi Pais, um, so Slangani Ngamawa in Namklanje Bazalwane, so I hope that you guys, you know, Nishile Makaya, Miss Doki, Lemina, I've got my own, which we'll be talking about tonight. Um, and the way they are, you know, for a class year rate, just one class year rate. Why? <laughs> two. You can push it to two. <laughs> you know, so it's a good evening. Um, Nadipa is a co founder and director in Ayana Wine. Um, this is the brand that I've got in my hand. I love the packaging and you know we'll go through all of this the design and all of that so when i got this i obviously held on to it and thank god that today was a busy day in terms of meetings so i was like lenang zoibula during the show so as you can, guys can see it's still unopened so just briefly nandipa you know uh, by way of background by way of you as Unandipa, you know, can, can you just Usipenjama Kaba Kaba to say who is Nandipa, where do you hail from? Um, and then we'll, we'll just get on to how you then got onto the, the, the wine business or the wine industry. All right. No, um, thank you, Mzu, um, for inviting me to come and have a conversation with you. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity that you have given me to come and speak to you know, come to speak about the Ayana brand. So my name is Nani Pamasiso. I'm originally from a small rural town in the Eastern Cape called Stakespread. So Stakespread is a it's a border town between Lesotho, Eastern Cape, and the Free State. Okay. But then I was born and bred in a small town called Elwell North. Now okay. it's also a border town between Eastern Cape and the Free State. So I went to school there, who went to Elwell North Primary, went to um, Elwell North High School. Then yeah. when I completed my metric, I moved to Bloom to go study there at the University of the Free State. Um, yeah. That's where I completed my bachelor's in accounting. Then from there, I went and did my traineeship in Stellenbosch at a small medium firm called Lochester Incorporated, which is yeah. where the in English. Um, yeah. So I went to do my traineeship there, but I was only there for like four months. So that's where yes. actually my interest in wine started to spark because yes. the you know the scene there it's it's marvelous. Yeah, so yeah. then um, I was just there for four months. Then I moved to the Northern Cape in Kimberley. Um, okay. That's where then I completed my traineeship with Auditor General of South Africa. Wow. 
Yes. Um, so I've got an auditing background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So as well, there in the Northern Cape, there also is um, a wine farm called Orange yeah. River Cellars. So whenever we'll go to Uppington to do, because there's an audit that I was in, I was auditing yeah. one of the municipalities in Uppington. So on our way back to Kimberley, we we'll always you know, make a stop at the wine farm and get a few bottles. Okay. You know, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. so, sounds very interesting. Just to, to, to sidetrack and the name. <laughs> um, so you've just brought a few memories back. I've never been to Aliwal North, I think, but I've seen the the road signs. Mm. Uh, so maybe if you know, you can give me an idea just for my own benefit. E, so the place I used to go to, Eastern Cape, is called Tala, and um, we would go past Elliot, I think, on route to to Tala. But somewhere, somehow, then when I put Aliwal North. Do you, do you happen to know that side of the Eastern Cape? Yeah, well, that's a problem that I always get. When you tell people about the Eastern Cape, I'm like, oh, so you know the entire time. I'm like, no, guys. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. When you say, we're all that way, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, No, I know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm So I was like, no, guys. I'm just here in the border. You are wrong. Yeah, yeah. So our nearest uh, big city is Bloemfontein. Oh no, that's way far. Okay. okay no, so I'm not like deep. That's why I've never been to a I've no. heard about it, but I've never no. been to it. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's really interesting. So your background is you are an auditing numbers person, and then you got into the space. Who's your first love, or which which one of the two is like, you know what? Um, Mangvuga, <coughs> excuse me, you know, and I the first thing on my mind between the two, and maybe it's an it's, it's an unfair question to ask you, but <laughs> well, yeah. not even, can I be honest with you? Um yeah. numbers were not even my first love at all. Oh, okay. Up, I actually wanted to be a lawyer. That was how oh, okay being I'm yeah. like, you I want to be a lawyer. It's only when I got to grade 10. Then yeah. I started hearing about, you know, CAs. I'm like, oh, okay, this sounds interesting. Yeah. So now I'm yeah. the type of person that I don't like being told you cannot do this. Yeah. yeah well, it's impossible to do this. Yeah. So now yeah. when I was in grade 10, when I will be speaking to my fellow classmates that I was doing auditing now, well, they'd be like, yo, it's so difficult um, to actually complete a become accounting degree, yeah, well. yeah. so yeah. then I was like, no man, let me do my research on this. It sounds interesting, mm -hmm. and I was very good in accounting, so I was like, okay, let me do my research and find out what's this course about. That's how yeah. I ended up doing <laughs> an accounting yeah. course because I'm like, no, I want to prove to these people that this can be done. Yeah, as well with the wine as well. It's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> industries. So yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm going to prove you guys wrong. Yeah. So that's how I ended up in wine as well. <laughs> Look at you now. So so take take us through your path. Ne? Um, so I, I I get the, you know, your, your, your time that you spent at Stellenbosch and being exposed in, into the culture of the wine, you know, um, uh, set up and all that. Now that's one thing, ne? As, as in you as a consumer or someone who really appreciates it take us through the journey um where unandipa now morphs into becoming nandipa a, a a wine brand owner do you understand getting into the business side of things because i'm sure like in, uh, there's there's a lot of things i enjoy but i never think that maybe building in a really business <laughs> i'm happy enjoying them and consuming them but yeah. it's very fascinating, Uti. You know what? What for you? And 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 I think what I would like us to get also is, you know, as much as we can. Sorry, um, just a nice understanding. Yeah, the the sector, your wine space. You know, um, somebody, someone is sitting and listening, and they're like, you know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. One of my dreams, by the way, which I had when I was sixteen years old, imagine, was to own a wine farm. But oh. 
I was not into wine then. It was because I went to the Western Cape. I saw wine farms. I was like, this is one of the things I want one day. But anyway, yeah, just give us, you know, that picture. The picture. Okay. So how the wine company started? Um, upon research, now, we established yeah. that there are a lot of wine consumers. And interestingly, yeah. there's a high rise of black consumers throughout Africa. So mm. now I'm also for a gap in the market that there's not a lot of black women in the industry as the, no. the industry because they shy away from the industry because it's dominated by males. Ne? Sure. So now with Ayana, our mission is to infiltrate the African market. I want a, like we want a person when they walk into the liquor store or a grocery store where they sell wine, Ebefika Pana looking at the wine, um, the wines. When they yeah. see other brands, they yes. obviously see other brands, then they see Ayana. So I want them mm. to resonate with the name Ayana because you are when it appeals to them. It's yeah. it's there. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. So yeah. we have so with the name, we were looking for a vernacular name. Okay. But the name must as well just be easy on the lips, on the on the tongue. Yeah. Like I'll make an example like Gabeja. Um I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> that name was chosen because yeah. yo, when that's when they made it official, I got yeah. my friends are like, yo calling me, hi bo. Can you please help me? Help me? Yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah. she's not only white people that are struggling with pronouncing it. You know, I've got yeah. two friends, I've got my other friends, they're all struggling. Yeah. Yeah. So now we didn't want that as well to happen with our name. We wanted everyone to be able to pronounce our brand name. Sure. So now we did a so we spoke to a couple of our friends throughout the the world. Yeah. And then my Kenya friends actually came up with the name Ayana. So Ayana yeah. means beautiful flower in Swahili. Beautiful flower. Wow. Beautiful flower. And actually when we're doing the research as well on Ayana, it came across that a lot of languages actually Ayana it means beautiful flower in those languages. The only yeah. uh, Exceptions are Hebrew, which it means wellspring. Then Islamic, it means intelligent. And then in Sanskrit, it means goal, uh, direction, and good path. So the Shia Zong. So Shia Zong, yes. So <laughs> then, Ayana, when you pronounce Ayana, we called, after getting that name, we called if, like our Russian friends, Chinese friends, in yeah. Kenya, Angola, like, everywhere we're like okay guys we just want you, you know can you pronounce the name ayana and yeah, everyone yeah. Able to pronounce ayana wow wow <laughs> now what terms in uh so so can you I hope I pronounce your name correctly which i love the name ayana <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah, this is beautiful now, um, yeah okay so now if i go to the field um of the you know the label of Ayana. Sure. You know, before I go to that, so the story of Ayana. So after oh, doing yeah. that, yeah, sorry. After we I'm came gonna up start with opening my bottle, by the way. Oh, <laughs> you can start opening it. Um, yeah. so now when it came to this taste, even before we started bottling it, uh, we sent a few samples to a couple of our friends just for them to taste and give us feedback. And everyone was happy with the taste of the wine of the red wine. They mm. loved it, didn't receive any negative feedback on it. So that's when then we started bottling it. And then right. when it comes to the label, we also took our time. If when yeah. people go buy the product, they can yeah. if when they feel it resembles that of an elephant skin. I like it. <laughs> you know, when, if, if I could frame this the way you know, I can, you know, those frames. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. even our logo there, you see it's an elephant. Yes, yes. Yes. So now we decided that you want to join in in the campaign of elephant yeah. um, preservation. Because as you know, the elephants yeah. are becoming wow. extinct. And there's sure. currently just half a million elephants in the, in the world. Mm -hmm. So now we are also currently in talks with the Elephant Conservation Center. Okay. Um, so I would like to encourage all wine consumers to also, you know, um, do their part because 
if you buy a bottle from us, some of the profits will donate it to this conservation center. What is it called, this, uh, this center? It's Elephant Conservation Center. Elephant Conservation Center. Yes. So I'm going to add your link. I, I, is this, so if anyone wants to buy, they must go to your, uh, to your website, right? Ayanawine.com. .com, yes, that's correct. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Mzu, this whole, yeah. it took us two years. From the name to the taste to the labeling, it took us two years to finally get a finished product because you wanted it to be perfect. Yeah. Wow, two years and, and multi two years. When, when, when did you launch? We launched it last year, Moju, yeah. and unfortunately, then COVID came. Like, okay, COVID was still like when um, the lockdown. Yes. Then, yeah, so it's been. It just create layer, layer obstacle layer. Yeah. I hope I don't cause an accident here. <laughs> Great stuff. Cool. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but you've got the link on the screen. Then I'll place some order way, no? I'm not. I'm not really great in terms of these things. Is a mom food pairing and all that. Um, you know, when I say I'm not great, I mean I mean I don't have the know-how or the understanding. Uh, but I think if we were to go that direction, what would you say this goes with? So this this is um, it's called Ayana Premium Red 2020. Yes. So with the yeah. premium red, um, it's our red is a it's a blend so, of mango and cabernet grapes. Yeah. So I would recommend that you have it with spiced vegetarian stews, tomato heavy uh, meat dishes, or Mexican food. Mexican food. I love Mexican food. Yeah. Wow. So that's what I would recommend you have it with. So it's 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 very easy on the tongue. And anyway, I've got an unfair advantage because <clears throat> sorry, when you guys were at the rancho, uh, this is what I was consuming. Uh, whenever I wanted a, a glass or bottle of wine, so <laughs> yes, I even had to have some uh, opener just special for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, talk about customer service going the extra mile. Extra mile. We are so, more. I corkscrew and she was like, "Yo, I'm gonna hustle for this thing." And the reason it was the space which we occupied. It was basic, basically meant for selling bottled stuff uh not you know to be consumed on on site so i mean i mean you we'll talk better somewhere yeah, yeah well, because a lot of people yo they'll come through uh, to the stand i'm like hey boy yeah. can't you just give us small and a taste i'm like hey sh i'll get you to travel if i to open this <laughs> bottle. I'd like to do it as a taste yeah but... yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> take us through so i'm only having you read but maybe just Give us. I know that people can go to your to your website and check. What else do you have in terms of maybe some people that they are into your dry white, your sweet stuff, and so forth. So okay, right. Currently, we only have the four varieties, which is the premium red, which is the one that Mzu is having at the moment. We have rosé, we have. Um, Chenin Blanc, and then we have the sparkling rosé. So we only have four varieties at the moment. Yeah. 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 Okay, no, that's, that sounds awesome. And then in terms of your, your distribution for now, it's only um, available through your, your website. <coughs> Excuse me. What are you? Okay. Yeah, sorry, uh, carry on. All right, yes. Our yeah. distribution, yes, is online. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're also going to go and take a lot. Okay. Yes, I'm just busy finalizing that now. Um, then otherwise, if you're in, in Gauteng, we are available at um, Boulevard Sellers, which is in Rivonia. Boulevard we also yeah. at Duty Free at the airport. Which airport? All of them? Like OR or? At OR Tambo. OR Tambo, oh, nice, nice. Then either at the Western Cape, we were at um, the wine farm called Staten vineyards which is in failure stop okay that's cool 
And then let me ask you this. So now it negotiate a lot. So that means it means was an agudonsense dot Africa soon. So it says unfortunately like tomorrow tomorrow to have that conversation. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No, no, this is very exciting. Um, what is your appetite for so if someone has has a restaurant and maybe they want to carry your wine? Uh, you know, some of the people that might be listening, Bagula so space. Um, you know, you've mentioned the Boulevard. Uh, you said Boulevard seller, but that's a liquor store. Uh, yeah, that's a liquor store. Uh, no, we are also in other um, restaurants and hotels. Because in the Northern Cape, we had most of e, e restaurants and clubs there. We also at a boutique hotel there called Benare Boutique. Okay. Um, so we are also in like boutique hotels. There are other hotels that we are currently in talks with. So restaurants, hotels, we are for it. Thing is, yeah. um, we started to take the, um, the decisions that we like to remain a, a boutique. What's this? Um, can, how can I put it? Like, as we know, if I can put it like that. Yeah, we want, like we we want to be an exclusive brand. brand. Yeah. Understand? So we've been targeting just boutique liquor stores, uh, so. boutique hotels, because we are... Um, currently listed at tops we are on the, the oh. national database we just needed okay. to go to all the provincial tops and start knocking on their doors but we decided no, we're not going to follow that route but we okay. rather type the boutique places i see i see okay okay that, that's really interesting and and obviously it's because of uh <clears throat> excuse me your your i don't know how to put it except to say your target market um uh, base um, or what, what 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 informs that I'm, I'm, and I'm asking from a point of not knowing by the way because um, yes I know tops it tops in the image yeah you're in different people's minds um, but I've been to I'm a top we are busy advertising people in there not paying guys no man <laughs> but anyway but the point is um, but I've seen them carrying brands from like your low end, middle point, high end, you know, type scenario. Mm. But I suppose then Umuntu Oya Lapo doesn't necessarily go looking for a boutique experience. It make, yeah, it makes sense. Ne? That's, I think that's my question. <laughs> so I don't, I don't go to uh, McDonald's. Man, free advertising. I don't go to a fast food joint. Ne? Uh, mm. for a chef experience. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, but as we not not all these boutique liquor stores are like yo, you're gonna get such a in their prices are cornered, yes. Like they are very high, not at all. Some okay. of them are just like all tops, they are very affordable. Mm. They even actually cheaper than all tops. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, that's that's really great. So um within within the sector your, your wine industry um because you touched on something that's very very pertinent on you know you said as a as a black woman the fact to go to toilet about our men in this industry and maybe we shouldn't like scatter around the issues it's, it's mostly white men not just not just men <laughs> yes. you know this one demographic um so when you are in the industry what 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 do you think it would take you know to, to get more opportunities to open up firstly whether the industry itself is able to do that or should be doing that or can do that or maybe is already doing that uh, at different levels and then number two uh, I'm following it from a government perspective because we have about this is really in that you know, um, but also from a government perspective because legally you know the, there's certain mandates and obligations that they do have towards addressing those injustices, <clears throat> sorry or whatever you know that we still live today as a result of those uh, uh, past injustices. What role can you say as a captain of the wine industry? Uh, you know, to say, okay, this is what needs to happen. But now, as a black person, when you want to come into the space, 
Um, this is the kind of information you should know or have so that you come in prepared. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll make a, an example. Yes, it's a long way of asking you a question. An example would be um, some people, for instance, that I've come across um, have a product that they make. It can be a hair product, it can be a chili, whatever, like condiment or whatever that they produce. And they'll tell you what my end goal is to have shelf space in a big retail store. I'm not going to mention names anymore. But think think about your top two, your top three, you know, levels. And then when you have the conversation with you, what have you done towards that? Do you know what their requirements are? You know, uh, right. so for example, from a compliance perspective, you guys have got a barcode here, which as I'm going to it by by just nice. printing it and just slapping it on on the bottle. <laughs> Definitely. So when it comes to the compliance part, eh, um, there's a lady that I work closely with. Her name is Lorraine. So she's the one who that's her forte. I now is that when it comes to compliance of the wine, it's yeah. it's something else. <laughs> because um when we talk about you about the red wine that you're currently drinking right now, it says 2021. Yeah. Eh? So yeah. last year we had produced our first batch. It was 2020. It even well, won the. Mine says 2020. Oh, 2020. My apologies. Mm -hmm. So the, pre the yeah. previous year's one was 2019. Yeah. So we had also ent we had entered it into the Michael Angelo International Award. Yeah. So they, it actually it won a gold uh, medal at the Michael Angelo Award. Um, yeah. So now we had thought of, I know, once you win that award, it just carries on forever. So now she actually told me that, and she explained to me about, no, it's cool. different. So every year, if since last year, it was like a 2019 uh, produce, yeah. this is a 2020, we need to now again enter the competition in order for the 2020 to win that award. So yeah, yeah. One, when it comes to compliance about the wine, it, it, it's very tricky. One needs to sit down and study it thoroughly. Sure. Mm. But I think the point that, that you have, or my, my takeaway is, um, you know, have, have some someone that can guide you or help you in, in the process. Definitely. Uh, I, I, I remember, you know, my early days, not early days, let me say like midway, uh, brown sense days, I got, you know, uh, exposed to a lot of people who would say more color e business. You know, there's always this good team yako, not team as in inside your business, but people that are helping or advising you. Uh, there should always be a lawyer and an accountant okay. at the very bare minimum. Do you understand? And and for me, that that was a new thing because the, if I can tell you something, <clears throat> sorry. Um, the origins as a brown sense were not founded in a thought or an idea of what kind of a business can i start to make money it was founded more from uh, i'm angry there's racism how do i contribute towards shaking this tree and and helping create a space where we can self-determine ourselves as a yeah. then the yeah. business became a byproduct of of that activity. Um, and because it became a byproduct, then I was forced to get into spaces where I listen to people talk or I hear them. Sometimes I'm not listening because I'm conscious <laughs> listening to them, but and by listening, I mean socially listening to you. You go through your timeline, go Facebook, I'm like, oh, Nandi, I might not comment, but I'll be like, oh, okay, let me follow this thread. Let me follow this conversation. Then I will learn from them. That That's really sense. powerful what, what you're saying. Um, so in terms of your, so you mentioned on, 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 on your plans, you know, to branch off into the continent. Uh, yes. Do you have specific countries that you've identified? If it's top secret, you don't have to tell me which one, but where you're like, from La South Africa, so probably Zimbabwe is an example, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so um, we have agreements at the moment with um, I was Angola, Nigeria, and Kenya. Yeah. So 
also busy now with the marketing day. Yeah, yeah. So yes, I'm very excited yeah. with that. <laughs> that's good. That's really great. Mm. No, okay, that's great. Um, I've shared the link on the on the on the screen for people that want to place our order with you guys. No, uh, thank you so much. Because now, whenever I want some, like you know, how whether it's to e carpet cleaning or someone yeah. just to come in at the house, I always just go to a brown sense and type. Okay, okay. I don't say okay. Can anyone assist? I just know yeah. posted in the past and then yeah. check the who had offered them. I know they do this. They yeah. call them. And it really brown sense has really helped a lot of people. That's great. I hope I hope I'll see you guys advertising there. No, yeah. we will. So <laughs> by the way, just as an FYI, um, we will be adding a second uh, part to the e-commerce platform. We are going to sign you guys up on. So it's going to have a, a direct part to it where, um, you know, the more we get people to sign up on that side, you won't, you won't necessarily have to go to the group anymore to say, I want a carpet cleaner, I want a lawyer or whatever, but they would have been listed on, on that side. The good thing about that is, as, as you saw for the rent show, we had to verify you guys. Mm. Uh, so they would have been verified as well. So we know them, we know their companies, they, <clears throat> the, the company matches the person that we are engaging with and those types of things. Oh, yeah. okay. But um, I really appreciate the, the gift. This was a gift, by the way. Hoping that. And it is. <laughs> my birthday was last week, Tuesday, so I'll take this as a la as a late uh, <laughs> later birthday. Yeah, take it as a birthday gift. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Nandipa, thank you. Before you go, I'm gonna just uh, put this also again so that um, I suppose if people want to find you, we social media, they can do a search for Ayana Wine as well. Yes. So on yeah. Instagram. We are Ayana Wine ZA, also on um, Facebook. Yeah. On Twitter, we're not um, very much um, Katini. Not on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. So it's only Instagram and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. Okay, no, that's cool. That's cool. And then as well, if you ever happen to be in the Western Cape, please do let me know so that I can invite you to the Awan farm. No, for the reason to go to Cape Town. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Actually, I've got some newfound friends that are newfound, like I haven't even met them in person. <clears throat> Sorry, but a mutual friend of mine, Enga Kula Naye, we just introduced her. So it's a group of ladies and a guy uh, flying from the U.S. today, Valendela, a Cape Town tomorrow. Okay. So I'll send you their details or I'll send, I don't know how we'll do it, but I'll just say, here's a trip to the wine farm, then we can go there and check out, yeah. yeah. No, that would be perfect. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Bazalwane, you see the, the link there? Um, it's very delicious, the wine. Like I said, I'm gonna have one glass because Nya is always saying into the right now. No, let's have another one. <laughs> the second glass. School night. Well. It's a school night. <laughs> See, I'm forget to sing the school <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, have a good evening. Thank you for your time. Uh, Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Next time, this is the show Sisa Wine Farm. No, uh, yes, no, definitely. We need to arrange that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then mm -hmm. I'll even walk you through on how, you know, the, the, the whole value chain of the wine, starting from the dry goods up to the warehousing. It'll be yeah. awesome to have you there. Because yeah. now it's actually, um, I don't know if we've run out of time or can I talk? <laughs> the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> no, because what as well and how we're planning on growing is that um, we we want to infiltrate the whole value chain, basically. Um, yeah. We don't just want to have a finished product on the shelf. We want to, you know, from wine farm up to but the, you know, bottling the, 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 the brand, like yes. bottling the wine. So now we are currently talking talk with a wine farm in Stellenbosch where okay. we want to acquire a bottling plant. So now, 
farm wine farms are going to come to us and ask us to bottle their their wow. wines yes wow wow, wow. <laughs> as i said um we, yeah. as i said uh what you want to do is what we want to brown like we are we want to make it a like brown scent to infiltrate the african market yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's, that's the, you know, pen, a whole pan African thing, but also even the diaspora. I mean, like you know, um, the love must just must not end here in the continent, but Sibangen and Laguma Caribbean, you know, all those spaces, and be like, hey, yeah. You know, yeah, it's really exciting. Last, I hey, I've lost track of time. I think it was last year. Now, now, now that you've said what you said, so now you've reminded reminded me of these people that I I met online. Um, Bape is the Brazil, and uh, we had some engagements with them. Um, so they basically do more or less similar work to what Brown Sense does here in wow. Brazil, uh, except at a much bigger scale than than Brown Sense. They've got. You know, I'm a, I'm a festival. I don't know if you know a festival called Afro Punk. Um, mm. This free advertising must come to an end. So something, <laughs> <laughs> something similar to that also, but they say at a bigger scale um, in their location. You know. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think it's this is just uh, you know. Say and Trigara would I need to revive those conversations. Let's yeah. check a few comments. Um oh Onele is Onele, is she your sister? Thank oh yes, that's my sister. She was be saying I should sh send a shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey Onele. <laughs> um, and then we've got the terms in again, lovely concept which I just relocated from Cape Town. And we had a group of about 40 ladies where we make a point to buy from each other's businesses. Okay. It was born out of the concept of this group. Amen, Bazalwan. These are the kind of testimonials, you know, that really uh, validate the work that we do. Because, you know, sometimes uh, some people, you know, and, and not to say, they, they, life is, is busy, it's demanding and whatever, do you understand? So sometimes they'll remember to say, ah, let me just give these guys feedback or whatever in terms of how their platform has impacted the business. But when we see this, we're like, okay, we know it's working, we know it's working. So we are not really off, off, off the track as such. Mm. So yeah, hey, Tamsin, maybe maybe now that you've relocated from Cape Town, this is a, a, a reason with the sense it trip with the ladies. <laughs> So it will be the 40 ladies plus one guy being me. <laughs> we are a Cape Town, a wine farm, yeah, Ayana wine. Um, what do you guys think about that? And then <laughs> just, I'm just cooking up an idea while we. Uh, can, uh, just have a thought in the wine farm. Bushfire, you know? <laughs> oh, Zimkita Pan, what is she saying? Is this Zimi from? Uh, no, it's not Zimi from the, the the other place that I do other things. Thanks. Anyway, guys, uh, let's call it a night. Like I said, uh, I'm only on my first class, not even halfway. But I think Una uh, Diposang is a good thing. Kulume is thing. Abela is Yeah. No, but those guys are Like we really, really. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. This is really good. Yeah, it's it's easy. It's I can feel my ears. Yeah, food to my like it's very yeah. <laughs> no, thank you so yeah. much. Um, yeah. uh, it was really lovely having a conversation with you. So, and yes, and also as I said, I'd like to encourage wine consumers to purchase a bottle or two of our yeah. wine. Um, it's really delicious, and yeah. as well in the future, we're also thinking of bringing more varieties. Um, we will be bringing the Chardonnay, the Mellow, the Pinotage, Capsif, as well as we'll also be doing um, non-alcoholic wine because we've gotten a lot of requests for that. Because people are like, we really want to 
support your brand, but uh, we don't drink alcohol. So mm -hmm. we're also venturing into non-alcoholic wine. From an education perspective, can you, uh, th that's one concept I've never really understood. <laughs> when they say non-alcoholic something, what, 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 how different is it from, let's say, grape juice again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like, a question like, no good booze, I get okay. Is it grape juice as sweet? Or does it have like a very small amount of alcohol, maybe 0. 0.000 no, something? No, it is no alcohol at all. Um, yeah. Like me, um, sometimes they also infuse it with a different, not only just grapes, they infuse it with yeah. lots of maybe pears, more pomegranate, a lot of things. Yeah. So you can do a lot of varieties. Okay. Mm, but there's no yeah. alcohol. There's not even zero <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. Mary Ann will be placing an order soon. So look out for it <laughs> Mary Ann. Uh, no, that's actually my friend. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mary Ann. But I still she must pay and it's <laughs> no definitely. <laughs> and she must pay full price. Not, not much discount. There's no, no payment. Discount. No discounts. And, <laughs> Uh, uh what you call rate yeah anyway thanks uh nandipa we'll uh we'll catch up again uh but it was very lovely um i'll just stay here and enjoy this by myself all right no do enjoy it <laughs> thank you <Okay>. thank you <laughs> thanks bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. Uh, hey guys thank you for joining us um Really had fun there. So I think we'll call it a night until next week, same time. Uh, peace, enjoy your evening, be safe.